So I have been with my girlfriend now for a year now. She's wonderful. Uh, she's a doctor to everything you could ever want, except she has one alarming character of flaw, and that is she is the pickiest nose, I guess you could say, it hates like all fragrances, it's super, super selective. So I said, okay, next time I come to see you, we're gonna go to Ulta. I'm gonna put your nose on every scent and you're gonna tell me what you like. And let me tell you something, she came up with four out of every cologne, four that she likes. So this is gonna be a short video. <laughs> the long video that I'll make as well. It's everything she hated. Uh, that's gonna be a long one. Why is this even important? Well, fellas, it's important because are you getting a cologne to repulse women and to attract women? I hope it's not repulse women. If, the, if so, you're in the wrong game and you're doing something wrong. Um, we as men like things different than women do and hopefully this psychological experiment will help you in your scent let's just get into it after the first 14 we grabbed some coffee grinds and finally came across one that she likes and i knew that she liked this one because I own it and uh, she's told me that she liked it before. It's the only cologne she's ever complimented. And that's Valentino Born in Roma Intense. This is the intense Eau de Parfum version. I hate, not dislike, I hate every other version of this. I don't know why. It's weird. But people know Valentino. It's a very unique design bottle. Bon aroma, intense. And if this wasn't so expensive, it would be my signature scent. It was my signature scent through fall. Not even because of her, because I love it. starting to turn like nose blind. I've smelled so many colognes lately. It's very feminine. It's very sugary. Almost opens up like if Herba Pura had flowers in her hands. Like super fruity. Super floral. Super perfumey. Like this is 100% a unisex scent. The way it dries, it dries hard. And it dries bitter, and it dries woody. Um, I don't know what it is in it, but it definitely has some, some musk to it in, in the finale. But I know that she likes this because she liked it on me before we got there. So walking around the store, I couldn't deal with the disappointment anymore. So I said, come over here. Try this one. Oh yeah, I like it. Yeah, I know you do. I just needed a pick me up. <laughs> Gosh, uh, fellas, if you haven't tried this yet, don't let the commercial scare you away. The commercial of this is I think one of the worst commercials that you possibly could have done for a cologne. It makes it seem like a, uh, a clubbing cologne or a club fragrance that is only worn by tall women. It, uh, why? Valentino, it's so stupid. Fire your marketing person. It's great. I really like it. Born in Roma. Intense. Okay. So we got that figured out. If you go around the side of Valentino, there's an aisle right there. Directly on the other side is Paco Rabon. One million she hated. 
did not like one million and I don't like one million so we were okay with that then I started grabbing the Invictus and I grabbed the Eau de Parfum and the different versions of it and I didn't like it I don't did not like the in the other ones and then she didn't like it either and then finally came upon Invictus Eau de Toile, the original and while this was not a oh this is incredible she gave me a oh that's really good I'll take it this is your blues cologne this is your stereotypical quintessential spring summertime blues cologne it's got some uh, soapiness to it it's got some woodiness to it some body wash vibes going on but it's more feminine and it has more of a floral vibe and uh, a little bit fruity on the opening but she liked it and uh, I liked it and uh, for Christmas she actually went back to Ulta and got this for me she goes here you go <laughs> so I know she can't hate it that much right I took it as a here you go I know you like this and I don't hate it I'll take it um, but as a rule I've never found a Paco Rabanne cologne that I like this is the first and she liked it too weird but this is the um, Eau de Toile which as a fragrance snob usually stay away from EDTs because the uh, fragrance world like almost looks down on them now they're like oh eau de toile I guess you can't afford the EDP like they got me hook line and sinker don't fall for it don't fall for it okay at this point in time we went through Lord knows how many we went through all of the uh, uh, Chivoche. Um, did I pronounce that uh, pretentiously enough for you? Chivoche, stupid. Uh, went through the Pradas, went through the Gucci's, went through the um, Azaros. Oh my god, that was that was a rough trip. Um, went on the other side to the Gucci's and the YSL's she, uh, she didn't like any of it um, I really like Libra I think it's phenomenal in fact I think I'm gonna get that for myself even though it's a perfume uh, didn't like it she didn't like it we went through um, Giorgio Armani's nope we went through Dior's nope we went through Calvin Klein's nope Okay. Let's go through Jimmy Choo. Nope. All right, getting desperate. Let's go through a uh, spice bomb. Oh my goodness, that was a mistake. <laughs> Till we finally landed on one that she liked. And uh, this is one all of you are gonna recognize. Versace Eros. They didn't have Dylan Blue, and I feel like if she would have tried that, she would have liked it, but they did have Eros, but are such a caveat with this guy. I'm allergic to it. <laughs> I've had it in my collection, and I, I've had it in my collection for a long time, in fact. If you see there, I don't know if you can see it, but I used quite a bit of it one particular day I sprayed it and about 20 minutes later started breaking out in hives and I was like well that sucks I love Eros as well it is a super fruity uh, fragrance that I'm not going to spray super fruity but also has some depth to it and the Eau de Toile version is the most abrasive um, the EDP is more blended but she liked it. She liked Versace Eros, and um, 
actually, believe it or not, to make her happy, I tried to wear it on one date, and I had to take it off after 20 minutes. Um, it smells so bad to me um, because I'm allergic and makes me um, have cold sweats if I don't break out in hives, and oh, it's just not good, but she really liked it. I told you this is not gonna be a long list, and it's not. I have one more. So, we went through all of Ulta, and Paco de Bon, Valentino Uomo, Versace. She went to go do her, oh, I need new eyeliner or something. I don't, I don't know what she got. She disappeared. I took that upon myself to grab tester strips and spray down anything that we missed and wouldn't you know it I struck gold I went over and sampled from YSL tucked away in the corner Lome not La Nuit de Lome Lome Eau de Toile version, Eau de Parfum version, and Parfum, they could not be more different. I liked them all. I said, hey, she came back with her arms full of weird womenly products, and um, I said, try this. I said, try like one. She's like, oh, that sucks. It's awful. It's the worst thing I've ever smelled. She wasn't that bad. Uh, and then finally got to the Loams. I gave her the Eau de Toile. And she's like, that's good, but it's not great. And um, then I gave her the Eau de Parfum. And she's like, wow, that, that's actually really good. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Then I gave her the Parfum. And she's like, yeah, no, that's not it. And so this is the only one that she liked, the Eau de Parfum. And in similar fashion, she ended up liking one of the most expensive colognes there. Loam is a cologne designer house, Yves Saint Laurent, I believe, the best designer house personally for me. I think Yves Saint Laurent is the best. I never tried it either. Never tried Loam. And uh, I was shocked. I loved it. I'm not even going to waste this. I'm going to put it right on skin. When you first spray it, you get like almost like this um, sweetness and this woodiness together. And whenever you have sweetness, you can tell. It's overly sweet. It's sugary is how I describe it. Then when you have too much woodsiness... It's um, just feels like uh, testosterone in a, in a oil. When you have the two of them come together, magic happens, and that's what happens here. It comes off very strong with the sweet. That was my stomach. It comes off very sweet um, with the fruit, um, balanced out with the woodiness, but then when it settles, you get much more of just the woodiness of the um, bitterness and kind of, I never really use this word to describe a fragrance, but like booziness, like luxury, um, dirty, you know, gritty, but still undeniably leans feminine. And that's the one thing um, and that's what it taught me and if you don't get anything else from this but uh, you're like 120 bucks for this 130 bucks for this, this is a small bottle if you don't get anything else from this video this what I learned from this whole thing was women are not attracted to the tobacco the leather the smoke the musk the things that us men are
are attracted to, women don't like. They like fruity. They like perfumey. And I want to get a cologne that I enjoy. Yes. But I also don't want to get a fragrance that is just going to repulse people. Uh, and especially the person that I'm trying to attract. Um, so, these are the four colognes that I wear around her. And then on my free days, when I don't see her, I can go crazy. But only four colognes in the entire store that she liked. Valentino, born in Roma Intense. Versace Eros. Paco Ramon Invictus. And Yves Saint Laurent, L'Homme Eau de Parfum. That's it. <laughs> Shut it down, fellas. You don't need to go any further. Don't go and buy the other ones. Just buy these. No, that's not what I'm saying. But, man, it would have saved me a lot of money if I was going through a journey trying to buy fragrances that appeal to women. I could have just bought these four and been done. <laughs> Stay tuned for the video that I'm probably going to make about the colognes that she hates or most hates um, because she hates almost all of them but um, stay tuned for that if you like this video please give it a like uh, subscribe if you haven't drop a comment down the engagement really helps me get these videos out to more people helps the channel grow so if you don't mind please do me that favor and until next time